Hey everyone, Tiago Castro here, and welcome to another After Effects lesson. Today I'm going to teach you how I created this character rig using Balbon's tool. If you want to learn how I made this animation and the 360 degree spin of the guitar, leave a I want it in the comments. And if this video gets more than 300 likes, I will prepare this lesson for you. For those who are not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe now because there are always new After Effects tutorials. So let's get started with our lesson. Guys, let's get started with our rigging process. One important thing is that the character should already be prepared for this part of the rig. Okay. As you can see, I already have everything separated here. The limbs, the legs, the body, the arms, the guitar, and the face. Everything is properly separated. This is essential for us to start our rig. So let's go. I'll begin here with the body. I'll set it to ground to make visualization easier. And I'll apply a... Once. He gives me these three points here. You see, so I'm going to place one here, near the neck, the other in the middle of the body, and the third point, here at the hip. In mesh, I'm going to increase the mesh a little bit, so the corners of the body don't get cut off. Now here in IK, instead of high, I'm going to set it to two points. In the render option, I click here to set the controllers. He creates these two nails. You see here I can already move our body both at the top and at the bottom. All right, now let's move on to another limb of the body. There isn't a correct sequence, okay. You can use whichever layer you prefer. I'm going to start now with our left arm. I'm going to place it on the ground here as well. Again, he gives me these three points. I'm going to position one here roughly at the shoulder, another at the elbow, and the third point. Here at the wrist, we can reduce our mesh a little bit, reduce it a bit until the limit. Here it starts to cut into the fingers, see? So let's increase it a little more. And come here, again, to insert the controllers. And that's it. It already provides these nulls, and our arm is rigged. Now let's move on to the next arm, shall we? Let's take the right arm here. Apply. Once you understand how to create one limb, you will consequently know how to do it for the others. Add one more point here on the shoulder, another one on the elbow, and the third point here on the wrist. When you have any questions, a cool example to use is our real body. I even have a little articulated figure here that we can use to represent our body. And look, our shoulder. Our shoulder is connected to our torso, right? Both the left shoulder and the right shoulder. The same goes for the legs. So, what does that mean? It means we need to have a link between the shoulder and the body, the legs and the hip. Our neck and our head are also linked to our body. So, when in doubt, look at a little articulated figure like this one, or our real body. It will be easier for you to meet and identify where it needs to be linked okay. So, let's go back here with the three points. Let's adjust the mesh, reduce our mesh. Turn here, okay. To adjust the controllers, done. The right arm is already. Rig two. Now let's move on to the legs. One interesting thing is to remain. All the layers to always keep the project organized. This is essential. I will leave the right leg on the ground. Same idea. He creates the three points. I will place one here, another at the knee, and the third point here at the ankle. I click to adjust the controllers and our leg is now rigged. Left leg. The three points, one here at the top, another at the knee, and the third at the ankle. I apply it again and set up the controllers. There we go, our leg is rigged as well. In other words, we already have the entire body rigged. Now it's time to link all these nulls. Okay, so let's go. First, I'm going to create one more null here. Okay, layer, new, null. I will position it more or less in the center of the body. I will rename this as Spotty. All right, now these two nulls, one representing the neck and the other representing the hips. I will link to this body. In other words, it controls the body as a whole. Now what do I need to do? 
take all these nulls that represent both the arms and the legs and also link them to our spotty. Now, if I move this here, everything is already connected. Let's create a controller for our head as well, okay. Came here in layer new. I'm going to place a null. Roughly here. Near the character's chin. Now, the layer of our top hat and hair, I will link to our face. And our face, I will link to this null. I will rename it. From CR. And this CR controller, which would be for our face, also needs to be linked to our body. So, I take this layer and link it to our body. Right. From here, I can adjust the rotation of our head. Do you see? In this other controller, I can move our body as a whole. I can move the arms individually. Here, I forgot to link my hand to our right arm. So, let me grab the hand here. Link our right arm. Now the hand follows. See? We have our legs. And our rig is ready and complete. A very quick way. We have reached the end of another class. I hope you all enjoyed it. I showed the entire rigging process. If you have any questions, just ask me and I will answer everyone. So that's it. Thank you very much. And see you next time.